everyone this is parvo sathar and today we will learn about what is a subgroup so in this today's session we will discuss uh, group examples uh, what is a subgroup and some of the examples based on that so first uh, what is a subgroup okay as by its name this the first one what is the condition or what, what is the definition so see if g star it is a group and h uh, is a subset of g that is this h is a subset of g okay and Uh, this h star is also a group okay then it is called uh, then this h star it is called a subgroup of g so what is the condition first uh, the main group g star has to be a group okay then second uh, h uh, must be a subset of g and also this h uh, is also a group right then we can say that this h is a subgroup of g okay now uh, for example let us do that uh, show that this z plus is a group so actually it is a sum of group so fine now we know that what is a group uh, so what are the conditions uh, so the first one is the closure property uh, then the second one is the associative property existence of identity and existence of inverse so we will simply do that it is very easy now the first one the closure property now z means set of integers so as you can uh, see uh, for every ab belongs to z we get uh, their addition belongs to z so it is very obvious so therefore closure property is satisfied right now what is the associative property so for every three elements that abc belongs to z uh, this holds that is a plus b plus c equals to a plus b plus c so that means we can change the brackets so therefore associative property satisfies see this type of sums we have already uh, discussed in previous sessions right now existence of identity so for every a belongs to z uh, we get this a plus 0 equals to 0 that is 0 plus a so that means some element plus uh, the identity element so that we can get the same element so here that identity element is what the 0 so a plus 0 equals to 0 plus a and here there is a correction it will be a okay a plus 0 equals to a equals to 0 plus a right now therefore identity property is satisfied now what about the inverse property for existence of inverse so for every a belongs to z now for uh, inverse uh, what we need to check that is this a plus some b uh, that will get the identity element so that is uh, 0 so and we are taking that b equals to a plus minus a. so a minus a or a plus minus a that we are getting zero and in same manner if we change the position the answer won't change okay so therefore inverse property is satisfied or each and every element has an inverse right so it is satisfied so hence z plus is a group okay so this is easy now let us discuss second example show that q plus is a group see uh, the whole uh, example it is same as the previous one so the only difference is what uh, instead of the set of integers we have here set of rationals so it is very easy so we are just going through so closure property everything is same uh, ab belongs to instead of z we have q so we'll get their addition belongs to q so that means closure property holds now for the associative property it is also true that if we take any three elements uh, from what from the set of rationals and uh, this type of property holds that means a plus b plus c equals to a plus b plus c right so therefore it is associated now for existence of identity it is same uh, we are getting what a plus 0 equals to a there's a correction a plus 0 equals to a equals to 0 plus a so 0 is the identity in same manner existence of inverse that minus a will be the inverse so that means a plus minus a equals to the identity so everything is same uh, except the set right so hence q plus is a group now we will jump to our subgroup question so that is why we have discussed this two uh, examples right so what is the example see show that z plus is a subgroup of q plus so this is the question uh, that z plus is a subgroup of q plus so first of all what we need to check so let's just consider see as we know that z is a subset of q right it is very obvious by sub, uh, the definition of what uh, we need to uh, prove it is a subgroup 
so first we need to check this z is a subset of pot q so it is there now also we have seen uh, in previous examples that both the z plus and q plus they are the groups right so hence z plus is a subgroup of q plus but in exams you have to uh, check uh, all those conditions or all uh, the two sums right so hence z plus is a subgroup of q plus okay then now let us discuss another example so show that this q plus is a subgroup of r plus so i think everything is same uh, here instead of z plus q plus we have q plus and r plus so just uh, do it at your own let us discuss another example show that this 2z plus is a subgroup of z plus so this will do so the solution is what see uh, first uh, let us check the closure property so see uh, for every a b belongs to 2z uh, now uh, uh, as we know that this 2z is a subset of z so there is no need to do that so no, now what we will check that 2z plus is a group right so for 2z plus to become a group we will check the closure property so for every a b belongs to 2z we will get this a plus b belongs to 2z so that is very obvious suppose uh, if we add this 2 plus 4 then we will get 6 that is also belongs to 2z so therefore closure property is satisfied right now what is the associative property so in same manner uh, let take uh, any three elements that is a b c belongs to 2z so we have this a plus b plus c equals to a plus b plus c right so therefore associative property holds it is very easy now existence of identity so for every a belongs to 2z what we'll do we get a plus 0 again uh, we have here a please correct it so a plus 0 equals to a equals to 0 plus a so 0 is the identity element okay so therefore identity property is satisfied now for inverse so for inverse uh, for every a belongs to 2z we have this a plus minus a equals to 0 that is equals to minus a plus a so this is uh, also done so inverse exists for each and every elements so it uh, the inverse property is satisfied so what therefore this 2z plus it is a group and 2z is a subset of z as we discussed so hence what we can conclude this 2z plus it is a subgroup of z plus so this type of examples can be asked now let us discuss another example now let h equals to 2z plus and s equals to 3z plus okay so the question is is union of the sets h and s subgroup so what we'll do first let us write uh, what is h or which are the elements that belongs to h so h so as you can see that it is 2z plus so all the even numbers will be there so that means 0 2 4 and so on and for negative minus 2 minus 4 and so on now in same manner 3z so s contains the elements which are multiple of 3 so 3 0 3 6 9 uh, here uh, there is a correction here minus 3 minus 6 and so on okay so h and s consist of these elements now we need to check the union of the sets h and s subgroup so let us take union so the union will contain these elements that is 0 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 plus or minus 4 plus or minus 6 so that means all the even numbers as well as all the uh, elements which are multiples of 3 so this uh, uh, union contain that elements so now consider C uh, we need to check the closure property but actually it does not hold so we need to give the counter example so consider A equals to 2 and 3 so as you can see that the 2 and 3 they both belongs to the uh, union set but uh, we have the operation plus so uh, if we add them so that is 2 plus 3 equals to 5 but that does not belongs to the set H union S right so see as you can see that this phi does not belongs to the H union S so what we can conclude so therefore the closure property fails so as the closure property uh, fails itself so no need to go for the associative identity and inverse property right so this sum is done here so what we can uh, write the union of H and S is not a subgroup because it is uh, it does not satisfy the closure property now the important result uh, based on this example so the intersection of any two subgroup it is a subgroup okay but the union of two subgroups is not necessarily a subgroup 
and the counter example is this right so if we take two sets uh, which are subgroups and uh, if we take their intersection then it will also become a subgroup okay but for union it is not necessarily uh, true right thank you